Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Cassell. Sorry to be gone two days in a row. I totally forgot I have a meeting today. So reach out through email or with the GoGuardian message system and hopefully I'll be able to get in touch with you if you've got questions. So let me show you what you're doing today. This is going to continue on the rest of this week and this will be essentially your final exam for this unit we've done on solar energy. So if you look at your STEM physics page, you've got the alternative energy exam listed over here. It says infomercial. So an infomercial is a commercial that is providing information, usually about a product, but in here it's going to be about an alternative energy source or about an issue related to how we obtain energy for human use. So I'm going to go ahead and read the synopsis that's here. If you don't want to hear my voice, fast forward. We rely on energy at home, at work, in the world. It is part of who we are as living things and part of what we depend on as members of human civilization. So what is the best way to obtain energy for us to use? You will be making a TV infomercial, if you need an example, there's a classic linked right here, about an energy production method. You can choose any of the options from the list below. More than one person or group can choose the same topic. Today, you will be independently researching your preferred topic online. You will not move to sit with others working on the same topic. You will work alone today. Tomorrow, when I am back, we will form teams. If you've got questions about that, sorry, too bad. Stay in your seat. Work independently today. Tomorrow, you'll be able to share as an expert with something meaningful to contribute. So here are your specific instructions for this particular activity today. So first, you're going to need to download a copy of your research guide. This is from the database, the SERS issue researcher, um, which is a database that's on the Northwestern Library page. If you download a copy of this, this is I'm doing this on my computer, so it shows up as a PDF in Adobe Acrobat, but you guys, it should just open in a separate tab. Um, or be downloaded to the hard disk of your Chromebook. So I can type in mine, but on a Chromebook, you can't necessarily. So going back to Canvas, we're going to use a, a web resource called DocHub, which allows you to edit PDFs very easily. So you're going to go to DocHub. Some of you might have used this before for a different class. Um, once we're there, you're going to sign in with Google. So I'm already signed in, but you know, let me log back out so you can just see what it looks like. Um, you can tell that um, nerdy people made this service because as soon as you sign out, um, some of you, if you have a document open, Gandalf will show up. So there you go. That's your Easter egg for today. So you can see you can sign in with Google right here. So it's going to ask you just like it does anytime we add an app or use a different external service who to choose your account. You want to choose your STU account. If it asks you for permissions, click allow, say yes to any of the things that it's asking. It's not an evil group of people seeking world domination. I don't think so. In Canvas, your next step, it says choose new and import the file from your computer and upload your research document. If you're not sure how to find it, I linked a YouTube tutorial here or ask your neighbor if you can't seem to find your file. So I'm going to come over here to new, import a new document, and you'll see I'm going to choose from my computer. And then I've got my research guide right here. So once I do that, it will upload the document for me. And now you should be able to type in right on Doodle. You actually can do a lot of stuff, um, but you can edit this document now and use it as your research scaffold for your infomercial. So when you complete work in here, it will save it to this document. You shouldn't need to click anything. Um, it'll be waiting here for you and we'll use this doc hub resource again see in the upper left corner it says saved so that will tell you that any changes you've made are saved here in doc hub won't be in your Google Drive yet we'll get to that tomorrow so now choose a topic 
So there are several for you to choose from here, and I really want you to pick based on your own interest. Feel free to peruse the topics before you commit to one of these. So if you look at any of these issues that are here, I'll just pick coal power because it's on the top. It's where the majority of electricity in the United States come from, comes from, by the way. So it'll take you to the SERS issue researcher database, and there's an essential question, just like we often write when we take notes, that describes this issue. Should the use of coal as an energy source be expanded? There's a synopsis here that provides some background about the topic. And then there are two opposing viewpoints, each with three primary sources associated with those viewpoints. So it will give you information from these two different perspectives about this particular issue. So you can see more, um, more topics listed below or more sources listed below. These are all from other news outlets, other news sources, places around the world. It's not necessarily just about you know, a few limited resources. So you can start with just the three that are suggested up here that shape those two viewpoints, or you can continue on to the others down below. Um, it says complete steps one through three in your research guide. Your research guide, step one is choosing a topic. So it asks you to kind of brainstorm a little bit and do some decision making. Asks you what's the purpose of your product project here. Um, we are trying to inform um, the public about your issue. You can make it persuasive after the fact, and we'll talk more about where your opinion fits tomorrow. But today your goal is to think about how do you inform the public. The second step, this is where your essential question will go. So when it asks, oh, I gotta move my computer. When it asks, what's my research topic? This is where you'll put in the essential question from your, um, the SERS issue researcher. Should the use of coal as an energy source be expanded? So I would type in here, should, oh, come back computer. Should the use of coal as an energy source be expanded? So your essential question goes in there. That's what's guiding your research. Okay. The rest of this is pretty self-explanatory. Read each question and think about what it says. Then do what it says. So the final things that are on here, it says, if there's any questions, send me a message. And then lastly, it says these issues are controversy, controversies, meaning there are equally powerful opposing perspectives about these topics. Your job is to research with an open mind and to learn about this topic in order to inform the public. Your opinion can shape your research. This is called bias. There's lots of kinds of bias. We all have it. The issue is if it gets in the way of growing your understanding about the issue. That's the kind of bias that's a problem. So try to put your own opinion away in a mental box. Open up a box somewhere in your head put your opinions about the topic in it, close the lid of the box, and then put the box, you know, over there. You can open it and think about your opinions after you've done your research, all right? So um, there's also, I want to point out, if you need to expand around, you're on a major website right here. So if you go back a link, you'll get to the related issues. Um, that we're looking at, alternative energy sources. You'll see them linked here, organized in a different way. But um, you can explore around this database if you want to as well. So hopefully that explains what you're doing today. Please message me with any questions, and tomorrow I will be back, and we will move on to the next part of this project and form your teams. All right? So good luck, everybody. I miss you. Have a great time.